So back in November, me, my brother, and his wife were discussing plans for Thanksgiving. I suggested that I was going to make the usual bacon mac and cheese. To which they said, Uh, actually, I don't really like mac and cheese. Uh, yeah, bro, I'm going to have to go with her. You're going to have to make something else. Uh, are you okay, bro? Uh, no, I, I completely understand. So I thought and researched various recipes to think of a replacement for mac and cheese. Then it hit me. Creamy mushrooms. Let me show you my take on the recipe. Now you begin, grab a large skillet and set it over medium-high heat. Make sure it's anything but non-stick. We're going to be deglazing and making a sauce. And you can't do that on non-stick. I'm sure it's capitalism's fault somehow. Okay, after that heats up a bit, toss in a half pound of chopped bacon. Cook them until they're nice and brown. All right, once the bacon's all fried up like this, transfer it to a plate lined with paper towel. Okay, once the bacon's done frying, remove the grease from the pan. Put it back on medium-high heat. Toss in two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Add half an onion diced. Then add 16 ounces by weight of whole white mushrooms. Don't worry, the screaming will subside in a few minutes. Now, okay, let's season this with one and a half teaspoons of salt. And half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. Keep cooking until the mushrooms reduce in size a bit. Okay, once the mushrooms shrink down a bit, reduce the heat down to low, and deglaze with one cup of white wine. Then add one third of a cup of heavy cream. All right, mix these all together. Bring the heat back up to medium high. And let the sauce reduce. Okay, one clue to show that you're done. If you drag your spoon across the pan and you see the bottom, that's a good sign. Okay, to truly check for sauce doneness, dip your spoon in the sauce. It goes to the back of the spoon nicely. Let's do the test. Bingo. Add back our bacon. Toss in two to three cloves of minced garlic. And add two tablespoons of freshly chopped parsley. All right, scoop some into a bowl. What am I using a slot spoon for? Let me get a real spoon. Now, grab a tail pork and dig right in. And I gotta eat this fast because, no joke, my brother and his wife, the same couple from earlier in the video, are coming over around five today. You plebs just love inconveniencing me, don't you? This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button. If you really enjoyed the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. Jay, it's, you added too much wine and cream. There's so much sauce. Yes. <laughs>